Have a biscuit, Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Mary Lou, and today I'm not alone. Hi. <laughs> Holly is back. Yay! You saw Holly on last week's episode of More Mary doing some tea dueling. If you haven't seen that, I'm gonna link that her and down below, as well as the other episode where she was on where we nerded out about musicals. So it was good. What are we nerding out about today, Holly? Harry Potter. Really I'm a huge nerd, you're a huge nerd. Huge. Lots of you that watch are huge nerds. <laughs> and I am fortunate enough to live in Southern California, so I have super easy access to Harry Potter world. And you have been several times to the park. Yes. Uh, once, including this visit, and also like, what, twice the last time? The last time, yes, we went twice. Yes, so good. <laughs> so this is going to be our top five favorite things about Harry Potter world. I'm really excited. Me too. Me okay, too. okay. But before we move on today, if you are not subscribed to the Miss Mary Lou channel already, you are seriously missing out. Please hit the red subscribe button below and the little notification bell so you know when I upload. Have a biscuit, Potter. <laughs> <laughs> about Harry Potter world is just the general ambiance. It just, it feels good to be there. It's beautiful. It brings you to a whole nother world, literally. Yeah. It's incredibly immersive. And even just walking down the, the streets, the cobbled streets of Hogsmeade, you're just like, <laughs> All the snow covered roofs. I and... know, and the shops, the shops are like, they paid attention to a lot of details and it's just fun to wander around it in is. there. I almost cried my first time I went. I probably did. Yeah, those books still mean so much to me and I still reread them at least once a year. Multiple so, times. Yeah, so I just like, ugh, just being there. If you're ever there, just take the time to walk around, explore. Just be there. Yeah, just be there, just be, be there. present. And it's just amazing. True story. Number two is interaction. The interactiveness is amazing. Oh, next level between like the staff is all dressed up. You get to go into Ollivander's, you get to watch the show. They even pick someone out of the crowd to be able to get their wand chosen from them. And then you walk around and pick your wand, which I'm, is amazing. It's so good. And speaking of wands, some of the wands, if you choose to buy it, it is a couple extra dollars. They actually have wands that have like magic in them. We'll just call it magic. Interactive. <laughs> Interactive wands. If you're gonna buy anything from the park, this is so, so fun, especially if you're with a group of people or even like, I would just wander by around yourself. doing it. It's cool. People of Hogsmeade are always there to help you. Even like in the shops. Yes. There's like the monster book of monsters mm -hmm. chilling. The owls in the owlry that all move around. And they just like, the heads are like. <laughs> That's a chicken. is of course the castle itself yes hogwarts yes. Uh, it's not only wonderful to like look at but inside it's actually a ride inside mm -hmm. harry potter and the forbidden journey but it's the line to get to the ride weaving through the castle you get to go into the common room you see dumbledore's office yes you oh. see one of the classrooms there are pictures that move <laughs> it's just like i don't even ride the ride because it makes me feel very sick you don't even the ride also makes the you ride feel is sick. a little much for me it's very like virtual reality stuff. Yeah, but you get to hang out in Dumbledore's office, the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. Oh, I just, I can't get over how cool it is. She's a Slytherin. What up? I'm a Ravenclaw. We get along fine. It's a good time. We both like Hogwarts. We do. Even though the ride makes us nauseous. <laughs> So food and drink in this part of Universal is actually some of the best food in the entire park. Definitely. And the specialty beverages. Oh my goodness, all the butterbeer. You can have it in three ways. You can have it cold, you can have it frozen, 
or you can have it hot. Although I've personally never had it hot because it's really hot out here. Jacob can vouch for it. it but he really, really likes the hot. And if you're dairy free for any reason, they also have pumpkin juice. Yes. The pumpkin juice is so good. It tastes like pumpkin pie. And then the food in the three broomsticks is next level. Delicious. Yeah. Also vegan and vegetarian options. It's simple food, but it's done really well. Yes. As soon as you walk into the three broomsticks, again, it's that piece of ambiance. You just, you, you feel so like good. you're there. And honestly, one of my favorite things to do is just hang out in the three broomsticks. I'll bring a little card game. And if you, you've seen this on my Instagram. Beautiful. Gotta check it out, okay? And number five, it's just the fact that it's a haven for lovers of the books. True story. You can be your best wizard or witch self. It brings so much of what you love into reality and you yeah. get a chance to just be in it and engage in it and, and not necessarily feel weird. They're gonna never feel weird about my love for Harry Potter, let's be real. But everyone else around you has so much of that same love I know. for it. I'm an adult. If I put on like my Ravenclaw sweater or if I were to get a robe and wear it there, no one would look at me. No one would judge me. Nope. I'm just living my best life. And so is everybody else. True story. Like honestly, like you just get to be that 11 year old who has just arrived to Hogsmeade from the train. And yes. Oh, it's time to start your first year. Yeah. Thank you so much, Holly, for being Thank here. Thank you for having me. You oh my know gosh. How much I love this. I just like. Holly's so great. I love her so much and I, her visiting is like one of the most magical times of the year. Aww. And I'm just so glad that you're a nerd yes. like me. Yes, all the time. <laughs> so that's it for our episode for today. I hope you loved it. If you have ever been to Harry Potter World, what are your favorite things to tell do? Tell us. I know, please tell us. Even if you haven't been, what is your favorite part of the books that you wish was incorporated yes. in a park? I just like, let's geek out together in the comments, friends. I'll put all of Holly's social media links down below if you want to hang out with her as well mm -hmm. and last and most important of all i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you on tuesday hello thank you so much for watching this episode again the links for holly and also myself are gonna be in the description box below. Come hang out with us during the week and not just here on YouTube on Sundays and Tuesdays. And that's it from us. We'll be here for you to nerd out. Always. Always.